Hey everybody and brightest blessings. Lady Leanna back with you for another episode of Wicca for Today. And it is great to be back here talking to you once more. I'm feeling pretty good today, just kind of kicking back and chilling out. And I was going through some old YouTube videos of other people's. And I ran across this one video by this girl named Lizzie Miller. And she looks like she's somewhere between 14 and 17 years old. I can't really be sure, but that's a guess. And her video is called Silver Raven Wolf, what she does, what she stands for, and why you should not read her books. And all the way through this video, she is just ranting, raving, and actually losing it. You know, just going nuts, gnarling and gnashing at Silver, you know, through this whole video. And it's just obsessive and crazy. You know, but uh, her whole topic on this video is to do with Silver making references to Christian people, how they are against us within paganism, and how they do us or talk to us and all of that. And, you know, Silver Ravenwolf is correct. I mean, this stuff does happen, you know. So, really, I'm not saying that I am either for or against what she is saying within her books. The references that this girl is making is in the book To Ride a Silver Broomstick by Silver Ravenwolf. My main point is that everyone has the right to their own opinion. You know, God knows goddess knows that uh, the Christian people don't mind letting us know how they feel about us whatsoever and in a lot that the Christian people do say they're wrong it doesn't however give us the right to go around you know talking down other people but you can imagine that when one is writing a book to do with paganism. The subject of holy war, the Christian church against us, is going to come out. Or battles and fights, true battles and fights, literal ones, with the Christians and the pagans in the oldest days are going to come out. People are entitled to their own opinion. They have a right to say what's on their mind. And whether it's in politics or religion, they're going to do it. And in essence, people learn from it. You know, who would I be to tell this girl, Lizzie Miller, not to say what's on her mind? I don't like the tone that she has with it. I don't agree with the way that she presents herself. And Silver Ravenwolf only touches on the matter a couple of short times within her books. And according to this girl, Lizzie Miller, she does it all the way through her books, which is wrong. So, I mean, be true with that which you're saying. Otherwise, you could be sued for slander, you know, within a true justice court you know so be very very careful conduct yourself properly except that people are going to say what's on their mind and expect them to don't get mad over it but just realize and accept that it's out there if you don't you're going to hit with a very harsh reality later on you're going to come to that realization at one time or another. You know, it may as well be now. I'm not for or against anyone. I don't believe that one people is better than another. And I don't believe that there is any religion that's entirely right, nor one that's entirely wrong. I don't go around talking down any deity whatsoever because I feel that I would be degrading my own deities. I would be 
stomping on the wishes, hopes, and dreams of other people. And I would be chastising and repressing others. And I don't feel that that's right by any means, no matter who you are. What I'm really trying to convey here is be accepting and flexible, especially if you consider yourself a pagan. And this girl, she considers herself a Wiccan or a witch. You can tell by the way she has over 15 videos on her page that are to do with witchcraft and Wicca. You know, if you are a true Wiccan or witch, then you're more passive than that. You accept the world for what it is. You become more flexible and you learn to be laid back. That is the best way to be. That's how I choose to be because life isn't going to get any better with me storming around and raging at everybody else. It's not. And it's not going to be any better for you if you do it. This is Lady Leanna and I really hope that this has given you something. We really do need to think, especially if we're going to present something to the public. We really need to think about what is the richer of the evil or the richer of the good. What is the best way to be when you are embarking on the subject of religion before you actually do so? Take care of yourself and Mary Park.